Hi, Mike and Cece. Sending a quick video to you both from Las Vegas, and I'm not very good at videotaping, but I'm going for it. I wrote a quick message on my computer, and if it's okay with you, I'm gonna sort of look back and forth at my computer. And uh, it's December, 2020. You both were married 50 years ago, December 19th, 1970. I'm sending giant congratulations on your 50th wedding anniversary from me and from Steve. And as I think back, I recall so much happy excitement in our first street home. And I have a wonderful memory of you, Cece, selecting your wedding dress. I don't recall the exact details and the choices, but you chose the most lovely gown. Since it was winter, I wore velvet, I think, to stay warm, and red was the color of the season. Most likely, the morning of your wedding, I would have set your hair as we put on your veil a little bit later. It was such a wonderful day. Thinking back, your childhood friend, Elaine Shanley, came. She, at that time, she was a nun in the convent in Nebraska, I believe may have been Kansas, and she came to attend your wedding. And uh, at that time, we knew her sister, Carla, and that was very, very touching. Also, Mike Shanley volunteered to be your photographer. That was a blast. I remember the planning of your reception at our home on First Street, and I think you, Cece, and Mom, and Aunt Lenny had figured out how to prepare the food for the reception and perhaps some food was catered from the Bitta Sweden smorgasbord on Broadway in Long Beach. I'm not sure about that, but somehow magically, you, Mom, and Lenny, and perhaps me, got the food prepared for the reception after your wedding. And I remember gathering in the dining room and people choosing snacks uh, from our buffet. I guess this is a lot of food information here. It's what I remember. Food's a powerful memory. So uh, to conclude, I think that the guests mingled in the house and outside on the wonderful deck and our yard. Um, I think it was the first time we'd met Mike's brothers and that was great. And it also must have been a wonderful gathering for a lot of our Desmond relatives and neighbors from First Street. I think Mr. and Mrs. Appleby were there and we always enjoyed them. So briefly, that's a quick recollection of the big day 50 years ago. And today, I just want to say you guys are great. You've done so well. Kids raised, successful, healthy lives. Been a big part of your community and your church. What could be better? Love. Bye-bye.